Okay, so we're leaving Bracey. Uh, the room had some mold issues. I think there's a heat problem here that if you leave the air conditioning off, it just turns into a jungle. Uh, the, the, the room took about three or four hours to bring down to a, a reasonable temperature. Um, but anyway, we're heading south and we're going to uh, cross the border into North Carolina. Chris, what did you think of Virginia? Um, well, I think Virginia was, as you said, um, the start of the South, so it felt culturally different. It was, it was much warmer, uh, the insects are a bit scarier, uh, the people speak in, um, it's quite, it's quite nice the way they speak. Uh, because we only really visited Richmond, um, I think the place that was outside of Richmond was more viable than Richmond itself. We are in North Carolina. I think so. It looks just so innocuous. I know. So we're in the town of Henderson and we've noticed that there's a protest going on. I was just wondering what, what your protest was about. Because um, uh, we're sort of driving through and okay. I don't know anything about um, uh, are North you from Carolina. This area? You're not no, from this area? I'm from England. Okay. Well, so. <laughs> we are definitely and we are protesting the CEO of Franklin Vance Horn. Oh. She's yeah, she's um, mismanaging funds at the at that uh, corporation. Um, we, yeah, we're, we're we've been asking them to meet with us and you know get a, a good representation of you know what's going on with um, the funds and all because they had the um, Head Start programs and um, Section Eight, Section 8 that's affordable housing for this area, um, weatherization, a lot of. Um, programs in this area that the community really needs. Right. But um, she's mismanaging funds and mistreating the um, employees, and we're just trying to get, you know, some answers. Okay. What, what's her name? Sarah Rudolph. Sarah Rudolph, you need yes. to get your act together. Uh, okay. If you're watching this, um, sort it out because there are people standing around in what I would consider very unpleasant heat. So they've obviously got a point. What's it like living around, around here? Is it alright? It's okay. The cost of living is very expensive here. The cost mm. of living is very expensive. Oh, okay. Because schooling is not the best in the world. Yeah. You may have to drive and commute maybe 30 to 45 minutes to an hour to a decent job. Other protesters saying that Henderson or this region had an unusual amount of tornadoes and earthquakes and other natural disasters. I, uh, th th they were very nice, um, but I don't think, oh, I think we might be killed by nature if we lived here. We're in Chick-fil-A. I went to a Chick-fil-A when I was five, but I thought it was called chick fil um, because I don't say the word fillet, I call it a fillet. That's a minor difference. This is the city of what I would call Durham, but I'm suspecting that the citizens would call it Durham. So Durham in England is a, um, an old small city in, in, the, in the far north. Okay, again, this doesn't look anything like uh, the original Durham, um, but nor should it. Buses. <laughs> the roads are actually quite narrow here. It's, it's quite unusual for America, because normally America has big wide roads, uh, big wide cars. Oh, there's quite a famous university here called Duke, and that is their clinical research institute. Welcome to American Tobacco District. They really like tobacco here. Uh, where, where are we? Uh, because I, I'm, I'm sort of confused as to why there's a giant area named after tobacco. Like these are historic buildings right. on the historic area that where they used to make tobacco and all that stuff. Do do they make it any more here? No. Ah, yes, I'm just unused to tobacco being so neutral <laughs> as, a, as a, a thing. It's uh, the historical aspect, which I guess you get in the South, right? So there's some things that aren't necessarily neutral, but the historical piece makes it a little bit neutral. People just accept it and keep it neutral. Right, okay. <laughs> tobacco, loved by all. <laughs> uh, and here's the Lucky Strike Tower. We've got in the North Carolina Public Radio building there are these sort of quite creepy looking statues. I think it's a collection of things, like this is part of Duke University. Then they had a sports team and, and 
um, some businesses. So I think campus just means, I don't know, it just means area. It's like a, it's like the same way as mall can mean um, just an area that, that's sort of privately owned and has internal roads and things. And they've got a chessboard that's um, like where the bishops are um, Lucky Strike Towers. The founders of Lucky Strike Tobacco would be turning in their early graves if they could see this sign. Little dinosaur, it's quite nice. And there's another dinosaur. You can hear its descendants going tweet how the mighty have fallen. Does anyone know how to say the name of this town? How's it pronounced? Durham. Yeah. Do you pronounce the H? No. I don't. So it's Durham, so it is like, it is like back at home. Right. Thank you. Right, we tried to buy some wine and um, a liquor store here means somewhere that sells spirits and it's sell, sold by the government and this is this is something called an ABC store which is um, called the Alcohol Beverage Control. So we're now heading into Pittsboro, um, North Carolina and we're going to be staying with friends of ours from uh, two places. Dominic's from England, Jay's from uh, so yes, yes, this is Pittsburgh, um, and it had some shops and some trees, and uh, the roads are well maintained. Maze. The trees are, are thin and tall. 